is brought to you by General Motors. At General Motors, safety isn't one thing, it's everything. By Buick and your local Buick dealers. Remember Buick, the new symbol for quality in America. By Axo Soft. Look for our fine family of diamond crystal water softener salts wherever water softener salts are sold. By Norwegian Cruise Line, featuring the legendary Norway, the world's largest cruise ship. By AC Delco Automotive Parts. AC Delco, it's like buying time. And by Subway. Subway's the place where fresh is the taste. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Michigan Replay. An awful nice show to do. Michigan gets back on the victory trail, beating Purdue 25-10. And it might not have been pretty. It might not go down as one of the classic victories in Michigan football folklore. But it was big nonetheless, Gary Muller. No question, Jim. It's going to have a great impact. Uh, you know, I don't know when the whole thing will turn around, but this is a step in the right direction. And under the circumstances, and the normal fan isn't going to understand it, and I'm not going to try to explain it to the point where they should, because I understand where they're coming from. But there was a lot of people out there playing very, very hard today, very intense, and a lot of young kids, and it was a, it was a big, big victory. Big victory for the Wolverines. Big victory for a lot of youngsters seeing their first action in a key game. And that was very important. Don't go away. We'll be back to take a look at the highlights when Michigan Replay continues. Uh, he came together and he was making sacks out there. And, you know, all the young guys, all we did was lead him. You know, we, we, we followed his lead. Jared Irons may have very well played the best game of his career Saturday against Purdue. Coach, early in the game, though, you go to the first half, uh, nothing's happening. And even though you're moving the ball, winning the statistical battle, nothing really happens in the first half. Right. We, Jim, we got to put the ball in the end zone, and eventually we did that. And then missing extra points in a key field goal really put us in bad shape from the standpoint of scoring. And the big thing was you forced them to throw their underneath passes. They couldn't get anything going on the ground, which you say is very, very important. Jim, it's a whole secret. They got less than 50 yards rushing for the day, and I think you commented a minus four in the first half. They're going to hit some passes like this. And Tresker, for a sophomore quarterback, Jim, does a very, very good job. Uh, Left-handed kid really puts it in there. Here you miss some tackles in the secondary. You know, that's still a concern of yours. Well, you have to wrap them up. You got to get position. You got to tackle, uh, take the proper leverage. And Zenkowitz comes up with a big play here. We should have got this ball if Alfie could have got over the uh, Corey, their tailback, and come up with that football. It would have been big, but it stops one of their drives. You get back on offense, and Tyrone Wheatley still out, so you go to Eddie Davis. Eddie Davis did a good job in here, Jim. He's a tough little kid that uh, he had an unfortunate fumble today, but normally he's the best guy we have as far as hanging on to football. Still in the first quarter, still no score. Eddie Davis again gets outside and gets a first down for you. All right, big nine-yard gain. Probably would have done better there. He got, they get a little nervous, these young backs, and he slipped on the turf. And here's the fumble that you call unfortunate, and Purdue gets the football. Right, when we're driving and we had the ball at their 40-yard line, we turn it over to them. That's, that's a tough one. Had to be encouraged by the defense. Played well, got pressure on Trusker. Right, here Zankowitz does a good job forcing a bad throw here with pressure right up the, in, uh, right up the middle. And then we come back, and, and uh, Todd Collins, uh, Jim, is having a great year. It doesn't always show it, but, I mean, today his statistics were tremendous. He's looking deep, doesn't have anybody, unloads it to Eddie Davis. Eddie does a great job of getting a first down. And Purdue has taken away the deep stuff. He couldn't really get deep. You're exactly right. We, we tried several times, but they were there other than one pass. And here Todd comes back. And Mark Burkholder had a big day. And that's what happens, Jim. Everybody says, well, why don't you throw to your tight ends? Well, some weeks it's not there. This week it was because of the deep drops. Third and 16, talk about a big play. Great play here. Collins to hey, Great job, great vision, and knowing where your receivers are, he's looking again to go deep. Sets the defense deep because of where he's looking gives Mercury time to pick up a key first down. And here we throw one in the flat. We, I thought we should have had a first down here. And unfortunately, Derek stepped out of bounds, and then we come up. Moving the ball, and then we miss a field goal. And that just had to kill you because Purdue feels confident now they can play with you well, because you missed the field goal. Right. The only thing you gain there is you make them a long way uh, from their goal line. But uh, you've you got to score when you have the opportunities. And it's probably the worst thing we're doing this past month. 
nearing the half, Purdue starts to make a move. But then on third and 10, you continue to pressure him, force a bad throw here, and you get the ball back as you head down the stretch, really going to half in a scoreless game, which surprises everybody. Right, we need somebody to come in here and make some runs, and Tim Biakabatuka, our young tailback, starts doing that, and, and I think from here on, that run right there, Jim, was one that give a young back a little confidence. And that's all he needs. And you're doing some things here, throwing to the tight end underneath. A lot of teams are doing to you. And then you get the big play and a great catch by Mercury Hayes. Right. Well, here, uh, Tim Bianca comes out here on a, a nice run, a 27-yard run, which is a big one. And then we go in and kick the field goal. So, yeah, you kicked the field goal just before half. You were thinking about taking Peter Lezovic out. And you said, no, I'll go with him on this one. And he comes through, makes it a 3 nothing game at half. Right. You, you like to make changes, and you should give other people opportunities, and yet you got to go back to practice and what's happening in practice, and he always comes out the number one kicker, and uh, I thought I'd go one more time. Unfortunately, he made that right before halftime. We wanted a touchdown, Jim, but those three points were big. They give you a little momentum. And it was a 3 to nothing halftime lead for the Wolverines. And don't go away. We'll be back, and I'll show you that great Mercury Ace catch. It comes in the second half. That's next when Michigan Replay continues. Tim Biakabatuka, the freshman running back from Canada. His first language is French. Sometimes he has a little bit of a language problem, but boy, on the football field, he was exceptional. In the second half, you really put him as the main man back there to get things done when you were having some struggles offensively. Well, Jim, and you look at him in practice, and you know there's good skill there, and you just got to get a guy comfortable. And being a freshman is sometimes tough. And it was just a matter of him getting a couple runs. And as he indicated there, he had some big holes, but he made some of those too, as we all know. Big play here by Jared Irons, opening up the second half on their first possession. They replaced Tresker with Pike, and Irons comes up with a big interception. Big interception. Return to 27 yards gives us great field position, and we can't do anything with it. Again, we're moving the ball up and down the field, but. We can't get the ball in the end zone, but uh, Pete comes through with another field goal, which makes it 6-0. 6 nothing, and the defense continues to play well. Third and 12, Buster Stanley continues to play well. Jim, I don't care what happens this season. You talk about a senior with great dedication and trying to lead a team. It's Buster Stanley. He's as good as any of them. And here's that youngster from Canada again. And boy, he, he got his work in the second half. He broke a tackle there, and he could have stayed outside a little bit more to have been cleaner for him. But he did a good job. And, and here's, here's that play I was talking about earlier. To Mercury Hayes, what a catch. Great catch, great catch. And I think the ball was uh, tipped, and Collins hooked up with Mercury over what I consider the best defensive corner in the conference. Jimmy Young's a great one. Here, uh, here we get Eddie Davis, and he gets inside for another first down. And that's a good run, because he knew where the first down was. Then you go to freshman fullback John Ritchie to get into the end zone for the first time, make it a 12-0 game. Right. Uh, J John, I think, has got a great future here, and he's a good fullback. He did a good job blocking today, and that was a big one. Now they're going to come right back on us. This had to be upsetting to you. With a 12 nothing lead, their next possession, Trefsker comes back in, and they come right down the field. Right. The thing is, they aren't running the ball, which is good, Jim, but they're hitting some passes. Ty Lawbaugh got that one. Then Alfie Birch interferes with one of their good receivers, Hill, who is a good one, and uh, uh, it was a proper call at that time. They go down the middle on a post cut, and your safety late getting there. And all of a sudden, you're a little worried at this point, 12-7. Exactly. The safety hung too far underneath, and uh, we should have been in a position to break up that pass. We get the ball. We have to punt to them, and they come right back. And they start to run it. This was when it was worrying to me, because they started to move it a little on the ground. Right, but that guy right there, Jim, got 101 yards on us last year in what was considered a better defense. Here they make a good play and uh, uh, get down inside our 15-yard our line. But they had a penalty on it and pushed them back, and then they had to kick a field goal, which made it 12-10. And this was probably the key drive of the second half when we come back with the score. Well, I think it shows some of the character. You talked about what a big win it was. You had a bunch of young kids in there, like Bianca Batuka here. Game's on the line, and they start coming through. Right, and, and this is what they needed to give them some confidence. There's Tim on a third and one on a good run, leveling it off. And I think you'll find he's, he's going to be a tough 
physical player as well as an athletic type of an individual. Big third and five play. You go to the tight end, doing some things that the other teams are doing to you, and then you get the big play from Tim Biakovic. Right, he breaks the outside here. Could have done this earlier in the game, but he finally got the field for it. And I think this is a young back, and uh, I think he has better uh, things to come on. And, and you talk about Burkholder there catching the ball. And again, I give him a lot of credit. Todd Collins finding the appropriate receivers. To come back, and again, pressure this time. Jason Horn does a nice job. They can't get off the dime with their next possession, which was big. Have to kick it away to you late in the game. Still in doubt, they're still within a touchdown, and you start putting it away. And this is a freshman backfield. Right, and John Ritchie runs good here. But remember, Jim, we missed that extra point, which would have put us up by nine. Chris Stapleton angles one out and gets it to about the five-yard line, which was great field position. And yet they had 12 men on the field. And by doing that, give us an opportunity to get the ball back. And here's Ritchie again up the middle. Who I think John does a, a good job running with the football here, and then Tim goes over on the right side. Third and goal, Tim Diagonatuka goes in for the score, and the final is 25 to 10, Michigan. Great to get that victory, and it was a big win indeed in our Norwegian Cruise Line Play of the Week. The freshman from Canada coming outside and showing some speed. I, I think Tim has good speed. I, I think he can do a lot of things. He's very athletic. He, he, he's just learning a lot of football right now. And uh, he had a big day for us. When you get 140 yards, and basically he didn't start the game, but his biggest opportunity of the, the season, I think he did well. A lot of people look at this Michigan team and say, uh, all the great backs, all the great recruiting classes you've had, where's the depth? Well, I think the depth showed up. You're running in the second half. Freshman, true freshman, fullback, true freshman, tailback. Right, and I don't think we should be in that position, Jim, and normally you wouldn't be. We have so many people banged up. I, I, I can't believe when I make out a roster, a travel roster, and I take one outside linebacker where I usually take four to the hotel. We have Wheatley down, and we have different guys, so... Well, you had to change up defensively because you didn't have any outside linebackers healthy enough to play, so you basically changed your defense, put some down linemen outside to play contain where normally that's a linebacker. Right, and the only healthy li outside linebacker we had was Matt Dice, and he got hurt in the game, couldn't play. Trevor Price had a bad shoulder early in the week, couldn't play. We ended up with Shantae Peoples, a strong safety, played an outside linebacker. But, you know, that's why I say this was a great victory, because there was a good mindset by a lot of individuals in a, in a tough position. And that's when you win like that, then you're teaching kids the right thing, and you'll be a football team. And this Michigan football team continues to improve as they get ready to move on in the season. Don't go away. We'll be back. Take a look at another travel squad for the Wolverines. That's next when Michigan Replay continues. We learned many passes before. You know, the thing I like to look at is, you know, how many yards we get rushing. And so that's, that's really important. And I, I love to see when they run the ball like that. It's great. That was very important. Don't go away. We'll be back to take a look at the highlights when Michigan Replay continues. came together and he was making sacks out there and you know the young guys all we did was lead him you know we, we, we followed his lead Jared Irons may have very well played the best game of his career Saturday against Purdue coach early in the game though you go to the first half uh, nothing's happening even though you're he is brought to you by General Motors at General Motors safety isn't one thing it's everything by Buick and your local Buick dealers remember Buick the new symbol for quality in America. By Axo Soft. Look for our fine family of diamond crystal water softener salts wherever water softener salts are sold. By Norwegian Cruise Line, featuring the legendary Norway, the world's largest cruise ship. By AC Delco Automotive Parts. AC Delco, it's like buying time. And by Subway. Subway's the place where fresh is the taste. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Michigan Replay, an awful nice show to do. Michigan gets back on the victory trail, beating Purdue 25-10, and it might not have been pretty. It might not go down as one of the classic victories in Michigan football folklore, but it was big nonetheless, Gary Muller. No question. Moving the ball, winning the statistical battle, 
nothing really happens in the first half. Right, we, Jim, we got to put the ball in the end zone, and eventually we did that, and then missing extra points and a key field goal really put us in bad shape from the standpoint of scoring. And the big thing was you forced them to throw their underneath passes. They couldn't get anything going on the ground, which you say is very, very important. Jim, it's a whole secret. They got less than 50 yards rushing for the day, and I think you commented a minus four in the first half. They're going to hit some passes like this. And Tresker, for a sub, is going to have a great impact. Uh, you know, I don't know when the whole thing will turn around, but this is a step in the right direction. And under the circumstances, and the normal fan isn't going to understand it, and I'm not going to try to explain it to the point where they should, because I understand where they're coming from. But there was a lot of people out there playing very, very hard today, very intense, and a lot of young kids, and it was a, it was a big, big victory. Big victory for the Wolverines. Big victory for a lot of youngsters seeing their first action in a key game. And 